Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use a pom-pom maker. I just thought I'd make a quick video because I've had a, quite a few people ask me how to use a pom-pom maker and I bought some for a colleague at work and she was like, how do you use these? So I just thought for those who don't know, I'll show you how we use them. So you will need your pom-pom maker, this is a clover one. I think I got this in a set, if I can find the... um. The link to the clover ones i'll leave a link below and i'll also leave a link for the non-generic set but i prefer the clover ones i think they're just a bit more sturdy you'll need some scissors and you'll need your yarn so let's get making first off i want to start by saying please excuse the state of my nails because I do actually get people commenting oh my god your nails are gross I'm sorry I've been in my garden that my nails are clean I'm a nurse I wash my hands multiple times a day but sometimes soil stains them so just thought I'd put that one out there so we're going to start with the anatomy of a bonbon maker because people are like how do you use them so this is what they look like and these two bits here come open and it's exactly the same on the other side. These two bits come out like so, and it's got a little bit of a gap in the middle, and you can pull them apart like this. So to make your pom-pom, you need to make sure that your pom-pom maker is together. It doesn't really matter which way, which side you start with, and you just wanna pull out one side, then, I'm just using this style craft special DK. I'm making a hat, a baby hat, and it needs some pom poms. So, of course, it has to have a knot in it. You want to start just, we're just going to wrap this round and round and round and round and round and round some more. So we're going to cover the whole of this with our yarn. Apologies if this is making you feel a bit sick. Um, I will <laughs> cut this and come back to you when it's done because yeah. I don't want you throwing up. Make sure you get into these corner parts here as well. So once you think you have enough yarn on your pom-pom maker for this side, we're just going to snip our yarn off. And fold it up and this is what it looked like and then we're going to do the same on the other side. As that side done, we're just going to snip it off. There's no certain length that you have to um, leave your tail ends. So this is what it looks like now. Now we are going to cut a piece of yarn, probably about 40 centimetres, 30 centimetres. I don't know what that is in inches, I'm a metric girl. So we'll leave that piece there. And then you want to grab your pom pom maker and turn it this way so the thin side is facing you. Grab your scissors and we're just going to snip a 
along this ridge. Just double check that you have got all the pieces because sometimes it can leave like a little bit of fiber. And then we're gonna do the same with the other side. It's so satisfying. That's my tail end that I wrapped in. So now we've got this. And what you want to do is you want to grab your piece of yarn and we're just popping it through the middle. Give it a bit of a tug to make sure it's through and then I do this a few times so I just tie it once just give it a really really good pull but be careful not to snap your yarn and then I so this is where I tied it I bring it round through that middle again to the other side Tie a knot, pull it tight, and then again on this side, but on this side I do a double knot to make sure it is extra secure. Don't worry about these because we're going to give it a bit of a haircut in a minute. double knot. Don't cut these ends because you might need them for tying on to something or sewing it in. You can leave a bigger tail if you want. I just don't need that much for this pom-pom. And then if you can see, we're just gonna pull this each side open like so. And the same, just hold it sort of in the middle like this. And the same on this side. and there you have your pom-pom and now what you can do is give it a haircut to make sure it's all nice and even let's go round Just cut any longer bits and just go through with your, your scissors and just give it a bit of a fluff up. And there you have your pom-pom. Honestly, they are game changers. They are so easy to use. Let's get rid of this. So there we have it how to use a pom-pom maker. Really easy. I'll leave the, the links to these specific clover ones in the description box. And I'll leave a link for a, like non, like a generic brand as well, which is sometimes a bit cheaper, but these are really sturdy. I sometimes find with the cheaper ones, they feel a bit, the plastic's a bit thin on them. So the clover ones are definitely the better ones to go with. But if you're on a budget, it doesn't matter. You can just go with the generic non-branded ones. This is an ad, by the way. I just use a lot of clover stuff. So if you like that video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.